In order to set the flash with this camera, you need to use one of the creative modes, which means set your mode dial to one of these modes, P, T, V, A, V, M, or automatic depth of field. These modes will give you control over the flash, meaning you have to set whether you want to use the flash or whether you don't want to use the flash. In all the other modes, the flash is completely automated. To fully automate the camera without using the flash, you need to choose the no flash mode. Here, everything will be fully automatic, just as it were in the auto mode, but the flash will not be used even if there isn't enough light. This is great for museums where the flash is not allowed to be used. Usually, I stick to the program mode and just keep the flash down if I don't want to use it. To pop the flash when you're in one of the creative modes, just use the flash button right here. Press this button and the flash will pop and it will be used. To turn the flash off, just push it down. Again, as I mentioned before, with the creative modes, if the flash is down, it won't automatically pop. So if you think you need it or if you want to use the flash, you have to press the flash button. If you are intending on using the flash with the creative modes, Keep in mind that the built-in flash is good for about 15 feet. If your subject is farther away than 15 feet, then the built-in flash really won't illuminate that subject very well at all. Another thing is that the built-in flash can only synchronize to 1 over 200th of a second shutter speed with the camera. If you need a flash that's brighter or can reach farther than 15 feet, or if you need a flash that can synchronize with a faster shutter speed, if you're doing portrait photography, outdoors and there's a lot of light, you need to have a shutter speed faster than 1 200th of a second, you're going to need to invest in an external flash that can do that. To find out much more about digital photography and your digital camera, go to lbguides.com.